hello everyone welcome back again to my channel if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video in this video i'll be showing you how to draft a basic bodice pattern using this um using this measurement that i'm showing you on my screen please let's get started so if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my videos you know my video is all about beginner sewing tailoring and um what i'll be doing here today i'll be drafting just the front panel first and yeah you can see i have two panels both the back with the zipper allowance then the front as well so let's get started what i'll be starting with first is the front panel if you notice there's a, a allowance which i mark it from yeah is a i took half an inch from the top from here from this half an inch that is where i'll be drafting my pattern from but if you are drafting your pattern make sure that your material they are all equal like this you can see this my pattern paper is all equal and the half an inch which i took is also equal to the half an inch at the back you can see the long half an inch this for my this i'm going to start my drafting from so it has to be of the same length it has to be correct so there will be no mistake when you are drafting your pattern or you're making your dress so guys let's get started so what i'm going to do here first is this i'm going to keep away the back panel then i'll start drafting on the front panel so what i'll be using here today is my my normal suspects my tape measure my my friend here miss ink and my ruler and my scissors that's what i'll be using for this tutorial so let's get started first i'm going to do here is this i'm going to put my shoulder to shoulder measurement my shoulder to shoulder is 12 inches if you divide it by two you get six so my tape measure i'll go here like this i'll put in six I know it's a basic body pattern, but I'll be adding allowances to it as if it's you are drafting on your normal fabric. So, six inches, I'll add half an inch to it, making it 6.5. So, yeah, I'll go click in 6.5. So, under this place here, I'll put in one inch. I'll go down by one inch. Yeah. So, on this same place, the neck width. Uh, we will be using the standard measurement for adult is three inches so yeah i put in three inches then the neck that i'll be using also is going to be three inches as well so now i'm going to rule it out Collect the neck slope from here to there. So now that we've done this, the next step I'm going to do here, I'm going to put in my ham hole. My ham hole for this tutorial is 14 inches. I divide by two, I get seven. Then you, you need to have half an inch to it for sewing allowance. I get 7.5. So on this place here i put in 7.5 here this 7.5 here i rule it out so here yeah, my ham hole stop I, I i rule out a a horizontal line this line we now have as my chest like i call it chest line or bust line so i'll write it here chest line or first line so after this i'll now do my straight measurement my straight measurement you can also call it vertical body measurement that's from your shoulder straight down to your knee so from here from my shoulder here this point from my shoulder to my bust is 9.5 so here is 9.5 
from my shoulder to my waist is 19 inches I mark it 19 inches from my shoulder to my hip is 25 not 25 it's 23 inches so I mark it as well so now I'm going to rule it out straight like this So now that I've ruled out the horizontal line, this way is the horizontal line. So after this step, the next step I'm going to put here is my breast span measurement. You can also call it nipple to nipple. That's from one nipple to another, the measurement you get. So what I have here is eight inches. Divided by two, I get four inches. So I will take my tape measure. On this line, I will look for four inches. This is four inches. On this other line, I look for four inches as well. It's four inches. On my hip line, I look for four inches. So here is my chest line. Here is my bust point line, and here is my waistline, and here is my hip line. So, have you done that? Remember your nipple to nipple. You have to have you have to add half an inch to it on your fabric. So, in this one, I will not add half an inch to it. But on your fabric, please remember to add. Half an inch to your nipple to nipple measurement. So if it's divided by if it's eight divided by two, you get four. Try add half an inch to it, make it four point five. But in this one, I'm not going to add allowance to it because it's just a pattern paper. So now that I've done that, I'm going to rule out a straight line to connect my nipple to nipple on each line. So now that I've connected my nipple to nipple on each line. The next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to my waistline. I will take half an inch on both sides. Then on my boss point line, I will cut down by one inch, like so. Then on my hip line, I will come up by two inch. Have I done this? I'm going to connect the dot from this place to this place and to this place, from this place to this place. So, I've done this. The next thing is to now put in our round body measurement on each line. So, what I will start with first is my ham hole measurement. I will go to this line. I will look for the midpoint of this line. How do you get the midpoint? On this line, remember it was 7.5 divided by 2. What you have is what you put here. So I'll use my calculator to find it. What I have here is 3.8. So I'll take my tape measure. I'll go to this place. I'll look for 3.8. So here I have 3.8. So in this place, I'll come in by... It depends on your choice. You can come in by half an inch. You can come in by 0 0.8. You can come in by one inch. It totally is up to you how you want it. But because of this tutorial, I'm going to come in by half an inch. So I'm coming by half an inch here. So on my chest line, my round chest measurements, I'm going to be using my boss point measurement on my chest line it's always better trust me because i've tried it 
and I realized it's always better to use your boss point measurement on your chest line. So my, my boss point measurement is 32 and a half. I divide by four, what I have is eight. So I'll go on this line and look for eight. So here is eight. So because it's too close to this, I'll put in half, half an inch to eight. So now, I will take my curve ruler, I'll just connect it like so from here to this spot. From this dot here to this dot and from this dot here to this dot. So I'll place my curve ruler like this to connect the dots from here like so. Then I'll use it coming like this as well to connect it as well from here to these dots. I don't know if you can see it properly. I'm just making sure you can see it properly. So I've connected it. So having done this, because I use my boss point measurement on my chest line. So I'll use my free hand or if you if you want to you can use your ruler to connect it down like this because remember I will use the boss point measurement on my chest line so I've done this I'll go to my waistline my round measurement which is also called your horizontal is 34 inches so when you divide it by 4 what I have is 8.5 so I will take my tape measure I look for 8.5 on my tape measure this is 8.5 so I will go here like this I'm marking 8.5 it's 8.5 here remember I take half an inch on both sides so half an inch here half an inch here make it one inch so I'll go here like this. I had one inch to it. You see that? Then from this dot here, I'll connect it to this dot. Like so. I just place my ruler like this to connect it. The curve. You see how I'm gonna do it. That's I just roll it out. The next thing we go to my hip measurement. My hip Make sure my round hip is 36. Divide by 4, what I have is 9 inches. So, I'll go here like this. From here. From here, I'll go here like this. I put in 9 inches. This is 9 inches here. Then, remember the dart crosses from here. Remember to add half an inch. Very important. So I'll go here, I had half an inch from, from where the dart crosses by. You see what I did now? So now I'm going to connect it down, like so. I use my tape to root from this dot here to this dot. So having done this, the next thing I'm going to do here, remember in some dresses, some people had side dot to inside that you know so i'm going this so i'm going to have side that to my one so how do you get your side that it's simply by you see your chest line here and your waistline you just find the midpoint of your chest line see from here like this to this place and what i have here is 10.9 inches so that 10 point now divide by two what i have will be my mid spot from here what i have is 5.5 so i'll go here like this i'll look for 5.5 so from here to this point is 5.5 that will now serve as my as my side that so i'll connect a straight line from this place here to this place so I haven't done this so from here I will come down by one inch as well 
then on this side I'll take half an inch from this side like so then half an inch from this side as well so having done this I'll now connect a line from here to this place from here to this place that will now have my sad that so having done this remember you, you took half an inch on both sides remember to put that half an inch down like so so half an inch here half an inch here makes it one inch so i have to put it down because if you don't do that the dress is going to jump so i'll just read it out like this then i'll connect it to this spot like so so having done this the next step for us to do now is to put in our allowances so i'm going to add one inch more for sewing allowance like so so i had one inch just follow the body curve to add one inch remember you're about to use your curve ruler to smooth in the edges one inch i'm going like this i have one inch and i'll connect the dot from here straight down to this place straight down so just angle your ruler and connect it like so and go down again angle it and connect as well just follow the shape of what you draw out I sew and that was I'm done that you simply extend it to the allowances your side that to the allowances like so just handle your ruler and extend it So that's it guys it's as easy as a b and c so friends that is almost it so before i forget remember the shoulder slope also need allowances to hard it as well because you don't want your shoulder slope to, to jump so you, you need to add allowances to your shoulder slope as well so on my shoulder slope here i'm going to have a finish so what you do you just simply follow the curve half an inch half an inch just follow the curve of your shoulder slope to add the allowances to it half an inch then half an inch again till you get to the top of your shoulder you see that then you use your tape your tape, um, ruler to connect all the dots like so so this will help to to sew in your your shoulder to have your shoulder together so your, your dress will not jump so that's it guys this is the end of the tutorial if you like this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe and share my videos it's all about beginners tailoring so i hope i'll see you on my next video where i'm going to be dropping drafting the back panel stay safe one love and bye for now